by just imagining forgiveness, the first thing it does is it shuts down that anterior insula pain network. So forgiveness actually takes away and stops pain versus revenge fantasies, which give you a dopamine hit or revenge seeking, which gives you this temporary dopamine hit that covers up the pain. The pain always comes back. You know, the dopamine hit only lasts a short period of time, and then you're left feeling worse, but wanting more. But with forgiveness, what seems to happen is the anterior insula deactivates, so it becomes silent. The second thing that it does is that it stops, it shuts down the pleasure and reward circuitry of addiction. So it shuts down the nucleus accumbens and the dorsal stratum. So you're no longer experiencing craving and this motivation to go and get revenge that, or plotting it out and fantasizing about it. All those things are itch scratching. You know, it's like it, they, it stimulates an itch and then it stimulates you to want to think about it more and it stimulates you to plot ways to scratch it. It shuts down that circuitry. And then the last thing that it, simply imagining forgiveness does is it activates your prefrontal cortex, that self-control and executive function circuitry. So you get these three amazing benefits inside your brain for free, without a prescription, without a visit to the doctor. You're hardwired to do it just as much as you're hardwired to seek revenge when you're wronged. You're also hardwired to be able to heal yourself by practicing forgiveness. And it is a practice. You, When you imagine it, you feel better and you might go with that for a little bit. And then if the pain comes back, you can just do that again. And you can imagine forgiving it again. And within a few tries of this, you'll start to realize that, wow, I, oh my gosh, I may have actually forgiven this thing and I feel better and I can move on with my life and stop letting the wrongs of the past interfere with and infect and ruin my present and my future.